when the beat drops out yeah. What's up guys, this is Von Bunny here and we're back, I guess I said we're back, with Everlasting Summer. Yes, I know, I was playing White Pearl, but I wasn't really feeling White Pearl, I don't know, I wasn't really liking the game, that picture is creepy, but like I was saying, so we're getting back into this, I was actually enjoying this, to be honest, I forget the story, I haven't read back up on it or anything, I haven't played through it again, so, I know nothing, I am Jon Snow. Having said that, she walked out of the cabin. No, walked is not the right word. She rushed out. I ended up alone with Salvia. Salvia? I must go too. Got things to do. Take a walk around. Take a walk. Look around the camp a bit. See you in the evening. If there is no threat or catch to this, then the. His reality, as embodied by Sa Slavia, becomes more and more appealing. For the first time today, I realized that it was awfully hot here. Uh, I'm going to turn down the music a little bit. Because it seems very loud. There we go. Um, although, obviously, my winter clothes were to blame for that. I took off my coat and dropped it onto the bed. My pullover followed it. I was now wearing only the shirt. That's much better. All I could do now was follow their advice and go look around the camp. I'll try to find something out in the meantime. Passing the local residential district, I saw a pioneer guy coming my way. And it was really a pioneer guy, not a pioneer girl. Apparently there were men, even in this kingdom of Amazons. Hello, you're new here. You must be Simeon, right? And how do you? Everyone knows already, I'm electronic. Electronic? By the way, the real one. You can call me that. Electronic was a robot character appearing in popular Soviet film and book series. He looked like an exact copy of a school kid called Sergei Cheskov. That's a fun fact. Electronic? The, uh, one, the real one? Things were going from crazy to completely insane. Alright. Oya oh, yeah, also calls me che Cheesy? Cheesy? On toast with mushrooms. Because my last name is Cheskov. I see. I'm gonna back up away from the mic a little bit. Let me see. Let me show you around. I accept his offer as it would have taken much longer to get to know this place alone. Fine, let's go. We ended up at the square again. As if this place was all there is to, the ca to this camp. Lena was sitting on one of the benches reading some book. Electronic confidently approached her. Oh, there she is. She's cute. But then she's like the freaking, I almost said lolly. I meant, soon daddy one. Hello, Lena. Meet the new guy, Simon. He started briskly. Hello. Well, you could say we, we've already met in a way. Yes. She looked away from the book for a moment, glanced at me, blushed and went back to reading as if not noticing that we were still here all right let's go on i was a, at first surprised that meeting this girl was reduced to a couple of words but then i thought it that it was better that way electronics vigorous activity did not fit well with lena's shyness let's go next we came to a building which I instantly identified as a canteen. And this here, that's an environment not for me. This here, I know this is where you consume organic food. Yeah, something like that. It's the really cute one again. On the canteen's porch stood the unfriendly girl 
who hit me on the back earlier. Uh, she's a soon daddy. The other one was the really shy one. I forget all the different daddies. Somebody's gonna cru crucify me in the comics. I don't know all the there is. As the sight of her, my joking mood vanished in a blink of an eye. Really? Now it is not the best time to be pulling this guy's leg, even though he is quite hilarious. First, I need to figure out what's, what's what here, or at least where I am. Her over there, that's Eliza da Devajski. I'm sorry, I can't say that last name. So I say Deva. Diva. <laughs> Be careful around her. He spoke in a whisper. Oh, Diva means two in Russian. Hey, DVA means two in Russian. So that's what DVA means. Like from Overwatch. The whole nickname sounds exactly like 2CH in Russian. A reference to the late 2CH.RU anonymous image board. Don't ever risk calling her Diva. She doesn't like that. What did you say? What did you call me? She must have heard him. In a, the blink of an eye. Eliza jumped down from the porch and dashed towards us. All right, you'll manage for I'm here on. Lockjaw took took to his heels. Oh, uh, we have options. I'll do nothing. I think I'm I'm not safe. I'll deal with you later. Deal with me? What did I do wrong? I added a forced guilty smile to my words. But what am I guilty of? She made no reply and carried all in chasing electronic. What did I do? That was slightly terrifying. Looks like I'll have to kill that t kill time any alone while eating for dinner. I'm sorry if you guys heard that. Maybe you just heard a if you just heard a bunch of snot go up my nose, but I just I got a clogged nose. Steffi. Mm. I decided to go east. At least in the direction where East would be in my world. Soon after, I found myself near a football pitch. To play football? A game was in full swing there. I guess watching it for a bit wouldn't do any harm. In my childhood, in 10 years, I was not a bad player myself. And even though, thought of going professional. But a few injuries in a row killed. My desire is to risk my health for the sake of uncertain chance in the game. Kids of different ages were running around the pitch. I could see a boy of about 10 and a girl about 14 years old. <coughs> a girl? Hey, what's Oyana? Alright, so she plays football. That's so surprising. Seems a restless one after all. I was standing quite far from the pitch, but she noticed me. Ah, oh, she's a cute little one. Hey, you. Oh, you shouted. Want to play? I didn't know how to answer. My question again is, how old are we again? I don't know. On the one hand, running around for 10 minutes is no big deal. On the other hand, any wrong move in my situation could be my final one. But in any case, my attire was suitable for this weather. If I played in winter boots and warm jeans... I would sweat like a pig. And playing barefoot and without jeans would be simply unethical. Maybe another time, alright? I shouted in response. Oh, it was a shout. Turned around and walked back. I was followed by o Oyana's screams about my pants or about me being pan pansy or something like that. Ah, uh, she called me a wuss. Evening was falling, making me feel tired and empty after a day wasted with no real purpose. Back in the square. Came back to the, Okay, it's going to say that anyway. Came back to the square, sat down on a bench, and gave an exhausted sigh. I'd better sit here and wait for dinner. After all, it's easier to search for answers when you're not hungry. They do give food to the people here, right? You know, it's curious how the simplest human needs could break the will to ponder on things, to strive for something. For example, I feel hungry now, so I care much less about where I am and what is happening to me. 
Could great people also be affected by this? And in that case, how did Spartacus start the slave uprising in ancient times? I can only conclude that I am not a great person and it does not really matter which mechanism I serve as a gear in society, the Matrix or a weirder pioneer camp. My thoughts were interrupted by the sound of bells chiming and loudspeakers on a light on a light pole. That was not bells, that was a freaking rally horn. The fucking trumpet. It must be a dinner call? I headed towards the canteen. It was a good thing that now I knew where it was. Olga Dimitrivina. I cannot say these names, and I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone who has these names. Was there standing on the porch. Oh, she's the really pretty one. Like the camp person, right? I stopped and looked closely at her, as if I was expecting something. She looked back at me for a while, but at last came closer. Too close! Simeon, what are you waiting for? Come in already. Because nothing bad can ha happen if I go with her. My stomach's backed me up here. My stomach backed me up here. Hey, look at everybody together. That looks like Jean Arc from Ruby. Um, when are they like hid secret anime characters in here? That'd be cool. The two of us went inside. The canteen looked like a canteen. I'd had a chance to visit a factory canteen at some point in my life. This one was exactly the same, just maybe a bit cleaner and more modern. Metal chairs and tables, glazed tiles on the walls and f on the floor, unsophisticated tableware, and the occasional crack. Crack? Like drugs? Or what? Guess that's what a canteen in a pioneer camp is supposed to look like. Simon, wait a moment. Well... We'll find you a place to sit. She looked around the place. Oh no! God damn it. Oh, she looked mad. She mad. She look at that mad face. And Diva, hold it right there. Olga shouted at Ali Isa, who was passing by. What? What's up with your clothes? Anything wrong with them? Indeed, her attire looks somewhat pretty. Provocative. Get your uniform nice and neat right now. All right, all right. Lisa got her shirt right and walked past, shooting an unpleasant glare at me. That was extremely easy for someone I thought would be sassy. So where can we find you a place to sit? I don't know. You were looking. There weren't a lot of free seats. Go over there next to Oyana. Um, maybe I... Yeah, it's fine. The food's already on the table, too. I had no other choice but to accept. In common Russian language, koteleta, a cutlet, is minced meat fried or baked in the shape of a ball or a cylinder close to American patties. Krompot is a drink made by boiling fresh or dried fruit in a large amount of water Compote is French. Those things are very interesting and teaching me things. I'm learning. And I like the pictures in the background. Whoa, what is that? What is that a picture of? That looks wrong. I, I can't see it, but what the hell? I have no idea what that's of, and I'm kind of disturbed. It's in a canteen. But whatever. I don't know what the hell that is. Of course there was the probability that the cutlets were poisoned with curry, curry, the mashed potatoes generously seasoned with arsenic and the glass filled with excellent antifreeze instead of compote. But it all looked so tasty that I had to chance it to risk. Hey, what do you want? I replied rather rudely to Uyana who was sitting next to me. Why didn't you play football with us? Because of my clothes, said, said I, pointing 
at the source of my problem. Oh, all right then, eat. You're a brat. However, there wasn't much left to eat. My cutlet was missing from the plate. Only she could have done it. No more per se. No more per se. Sibly, none but Oyana could have done it. Give me back my cutlet. In a big family, you snooze, you lose. I can cause you a cutlet if you are careless. Oyana is the brat. Give it back, I'm telling you. Do I want to force my food away from this child? Or do I just let her have it? I am really hungry, but then again, it's a kid. I don't want to be the guy trying to take it as he's a brat. I looked at her menacingly and was about to reach out my hand. See, I don't have it. And indeed, Oyana's plate was empty. It seemed that the little girl eats so as fast as she steals someone's cutlets. Take it easy. We'll work something out now. She grabbed my plate and ran off. There was a point in following her. If they wanted to poison me here, they could have done it in a much easier way. About a minute later, Oyana returned and handed me a plate with a steaming hot cutlet on it. Oh, that looks actually pretty nice. Oh, that looks delicious. Here's one for the starving. Oh, thanks, Oyana. Who the hell is texting me? Sorry, I'm getting text messages. Not now, phone. Not now, phone. Whoa, I keep losing my mouse. Um, it was all I could say. God dang, stop it, person. I was so hungry that my suspicions were gone in a flash. I picked up the cutlet with my fork and... What the hell? Some bug. What the? Some bug? No, not a bug. An insect. It got legs and it's wiggling. The plate fell to the floor and broke into pieces. The chair hit me hard on my leg while falling. I've disliked insects since I was a child. But when there's when these creepy crawlers appear on my plate, that's just way too much. You little... Yana seemed ready for such a twist and was already at the door, laughing as if she had just heard a fresh stand-up comedy joke. I dashed after her. That brat's gonna get it. We ran out of the canteen. We were just a few dozen meters away apart, and I felt I could just could I would catch this little girl easily. Again, how old are we? Or is this person? We went through the square, past the clubhouse, and ran onto the forest path. I started to gasp for breath. I should have quit smoking, I guess. Yana passed out of sight for the next turn. It can't be true that she managed to get away from me. It simply can't. I stopped and tried to catch my breath again. She got away, brat. Night was falling. Looks like I'm lost. It's a bad idea to stay in the woods at night. Better get back to the camp. However, I had absolutely no clue which way to go. And I gotta choose at random. And lost one. Hey, the background didn't change at all. I wandered for quite some time in the forest, even though thought of crying for help but finally I saw the camp fence beyond the trees everything fell back into place the bus is gone I mumbled quietly on the one hand there was nothing strange about that the bus couldn't just stay there forever on the other hand it meant there was someone driving because buses do not drive themselves why do they this would would seem too normal but every event here had at least two explanations for it. An ordinary, real, everyday explanation and a surreal one. Certainly the driver could just ha have just been off for a snack. 
and I left too soon, that's why. In any case, this is not the place for me. Whether that bus drives itself or not, it's probably an important question. But it was much more important to know how I had got here at all. And where this here was. The fields and the woods stretching towards the horizon had no answer. There was nothing familiar about them. <coughs> excuse me, I burped. It was silent, but I still burped, so I said excuse me. Brr! Sorry, I just said brr. I don't know why. A strange, odd, and alien world. However, at the same time, it was absolutely not frightening. Either my self-preservation instinct decided to resign from its job or all the running around the camp at the local pioneers had lulled me so much with their carefree normality that I was simply forgetting that what had happened to me just a couple of hours ago. Although I probably just had no strength left to worry. All I wanted was some peace, calmness. I wanted to just have a break from it all. And only after that would I continue looking for answers ready and reloaded. However, that would be some time later. And what about now? Can I allow myself to relax? It got completely dark and in any case, it was better to spend the night at the camp. Oh, I have a cut on my finger and it hurts. I was about to head back when someone came up slightly from behind. Hey, so Slavia, Slavia? Hello, what are you doing here so late? It was Slavia standing before me. I was surprised that I jumped. So you didn't catch Oyana, did you? She smiled. I now disappointedly inside. No wonder. No one ever has. Yeah, she's a real rocket girl. She could have found a better use for that her energy than looking for adventures. You must be hungry. You didn't manage to have dinner after all. Indeed, I had completely forgot about my hunger. But after these words of hers, my stomach drew attention to itself by giving a treacherous rumble. Slavia smiled. Let's go then. What? Is, what is the canteen still open? It's all right. I have the keys. Ah. The keys? Yes, I have keys to all of the facilities in this camp. How come? Well, I'm something like a camp leader's aide here. Ah, oh, that's cool. I see. Well, let's go. It was an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> Easy. Just say no. Actually, if you're hungry, yeah, I would do it though. When we reached the square, Slavia stopped in her tracks. Excuse me, I should warn my roommates that I'll, that I'll be late. She's so punctual herself that she will be worried otherwise. You go on to the canteen, and I'll come in a minute, all right? All right. I really did not expect to find somebody aside from myself there at such a late hour. And that somebody was apparently trying to hopelessly to open the door. Without a secret thought, I walked up into the porch. The lockpicker turned out to be Eliza. The scamp. I got her a scamp. I could have called her something worse. I should have probably kept off and waited. She looked at me intently for a while then said, don't just stand there, give me a hand or something. Meaning, help me open the door. Why? Because I want some buns and kefir. Kefir? Kef kefir sounds fun to say. Dinner wasn't big enough. You're a hungry girl. I'm a hungry boy. Um, is that really a good idea? Aren't you hungry yourself, huh? Oyana didn't let you have a normal dinner, did she? Fantastically. It's true, she didn't. It's fine. Slavia will come now and... What? Guess I shouldn't have said that. I'm off then, and you'll pay for this. You owe me two already. What have I done to you? <laughs> Having said that, Eliza disappeared into the... F and what was the first one? I don't trust what I owe this girl. I don't... 
I don't want to trust it. Um, where's the save function? Ah, save game. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what any of these do. Whatever. Slavia didn't keep me waiting for too long. Is everything all right? Yeah. Why are you asking? No reason. It's nothing. It would be better if I didn't tell her about Eliza. Everything's fine. I said that and immediately heard a note of dishonesty and steam in my voice. We uh, shall we go? As for Slavia. She seemed not to have noticed anything. Or at least she was pretending she hadn't. We entered the canteen. Wait a bit, I'll go get something. Ah, so sweet. He's so nice. Uh, but we're at 20 minutes, so I have to save a second time. But I'll just save over this one. go all right well i'm gonna leave this video here thank you guys so much for watching drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll catch y'all in the next video see ya your magic white rabbit has left its writing on the wall we follow like alice and just keep diving down the hall.